Okay. So what else is new? This is we've just I've just finished recording a video and it disconnected. So I'll show you what we what we did. Um, I was showing you what I do on Pose Maniacs, which looks like this right after I get off of Pose Maniacs. These are uh, these are done in 3H, very uh, very lightly, very loosely. Um, do about four pages, four pages minimum, uh, and then. So you can see did these. I've got one page left from from today, so I'll show you what what I do on that one. I was explaining how I I just catch the contours. Okay, this is like a decorative outline practice or an inking practice, which I do with soft lead. Okay, we're going to give you the truncated version of this. And as you can see, I rotate the page, which I don't do when I'm drawing usually, but this isn't really drawing. This is just making lines. This is line practice. Uh, this is right foot, yeah. So. So this is really just about making marks in a controlled way. They're almost all done the same way with a backhand. You see what I'm doing? Yeah. And the other thing that I explained is when I do these, I try to do them with a feathering stroke not an inking feathering stroke, just a feathering stroke, which means a stroke that that is done either light to hard or hard to light, so it has an emphasis somewhere along the line. Could be in the middle, could be at the ends, doesn't make a difference. But it does make a difference in terms of this. Um, hard to soft, boom, right, like this hard to soft the other way, like that. All of a sudden, what happens? This thing sticks out. This becomes form. Because these emphasized ends standing uh, diagonally to each other, reciprocating, gives a sense of volume. Okay, If I did the same thing with equal pressure on both sides, it doesn't it doesn't give you volume it gives you a shape so I apply this uh, this idea to the figure here I went from hard to soft or an accent over here to trailing off over there and on this side I would do just the opposite it would be soft down here hard up here And on the calf, since I ended on a hard, uh, on an accent over here, I would probably pick up lightly and accent further down, because if I accented over here, there wouldn't be any movement in the line. It would just, it would be riveted in that one place. So here on the other side, since I ended soft here, then I'll go hard to soft on this side. And that just creates tension along the diagonal. It's called reciprocating lines, except in this case, it's not just the lines that are reciprocating. The curves are reciprocating, but I'm also increasing the effect by putting the accents in a manner that reciprocates as well. This is something I've, I've discussed with inkers for a long time, as I've been at uh, Deviant Art and few seem to get it on the first on the first uh, the first explanation okay so that's that's what I was doing um, maybe it's safe to go just a little longer 
Probably not. Okay, so that's the drawing practice. That's, that's how I use my drawings. In the morning, I do my figure sketching at Pose Maniacs. Then I use the figure sketches for a kind of an inking practice. And right now I'm inking with soft lead, but there's no reason why, well, there is a reason why right now I don't have any ink. <laughs> Usually what I would do is I wouldn't ink with lead, I would ink with, with ink. Don't have any ink to waste right now. So I gotta save that. Okay. Let's see what we got. <laughs> 